Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. We gon' we gonna keep it good. I'ma glue it down later. Hey girl, so we are back with another vlog and to start it off I want to thank you Starbiz for sponsoring this video and sending me these items. So they sent me over a Louis V bag to review for you guys and a pair of Alexander McQueen shoes. So the bag that I chose um, is the Cannes Louis V bag. Um, this bag features the historical ch shape of the LV Cannes beauty case. Designer Nicolas Gasquier revives a long-standing classic with the Cannes handbag, petite in size and presented in a mix of monogram and monogram reverse coated canvas, the elegant piece reanimates a traditional silhouette steeped in Louis Vuitton heritage. A removable leather strap and top handle provide a range of carrying options. So you see it kind of like plays on different colors, different monograms, uh, super good quality. You can fit quite a bit of things inside the bag. It does come with two additional leather straps, a lock case, um, your authenticity card, and a couple of booklets so I really really appreciate the quality of this bag then over to the Alexander McQueen oversized sneaker that they sent I decided to get these in the color black and white now when I looked on the site I did notice that this particular color is only in the men's um, section it's not in the women's and I will say uh, in comparison to the other ones that they sent me in white and pink these do look and fit a little different the quality is still great but I do not get notice that the toe area is a little bit shorter um, on these than in on the women's shoe and that could be because this is a men's shoe and not a women's shoe but I still got it in a size 39 and it fits really good so if you guys are interested in getting these items please check the comment box below or you can hit me up on Instagram and I will send you a link thanks Hi guys, so today is Friday. It is four in the evening. I'm getting ready to go and um, meet up with a friend girl. Um, I actually met her on in the comments on YouTube because I be interacting with y'all and um, she wants to collab. So we're about to go have lunch and drinks and this is what I'm wearing. So you probably seen this outfit already on one of my other videos because I reviewed it and I just haven't worn it. It's like a lot of stuff that I reviewed in earlier this year. Um, it's too hot in Texas to wear stuff like this, especially leather pants. And these leather pants are actually lined with something. So they a little hot, but <clears throat> this the fit. Okay, so what are we wearing? On the face, we're wearing Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, Fenty Concealer, Elf Lip Gloss. These are some lashes from the Beauty Supply Store. The hair is the Raw Virgin Hair Boutique. Top and pants are... It feels good out here. Oh, shoot. Hello? Hey, Payne, are you here? I'm pulling in now. Okay, uh, okay. I'm here. I'm in a, uh, like a green Mercedes. A what? It's like a greenish gray Mercedes. I'm back in. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Her accent's so cute. She said Mercedes. What it do, what the business was. Word on the street, P know how to handle hers. Bitch, get your mind right. Let me talk to him. <laughs> you know what I like. I be talking my shit, but you know I can fight. New bus down, no keys to my house. Fresh front two, don't pull up my scalp. You be treating me right. Play with me if you want to. Saw you coming out the laundromat the other day. I started to pop, pop, pop. So we headed to get some drinks with the girls. Well, it's just one girl, but we had to get some drinks. And this is our first time meeting, but she sounds so sweet. She seems so sweet. 
you know, I want to meet all of my PayPals. I want to hang out with everybody. I want to take y'all on a trip. Well, not everybody, because she, you can't take everybody. But annually, I want to do um, an annual PayPal trip where we go somewhere exotic. <laughs> and um, it'd be like 10 of us, and we just have us a good time. Why y'all going so slow on this street? I mean, I know it's 30 miles per hour, but sheesh. Oh, Lord, here we go. Y'all doing the most. Y'all doing the absolute most. But yeah, I want to I wanna take my PayPal's on an annual trip every year, 10 of y'all to somewhere exotic. A, a vlog, okay? And we turn up. Cause y'all, I'm doing my draft is all of y'all, cause I'm not about to do these. Ooh, I know you shame. I know you shame you supposed to be watching. Where you going? Get out of my way. Hi. Right here. as hell. That little one drink. Baby, it just... What is that noise? Is it a helicopter? Drunk as hell. That was a $20 margarita. That was a $20 margarita. That little nitrogen margarita. That must have been available $20. Two...
forget what two was. Oh, they back right on school. Yeah, I forgot what two was. Shit, fuck it. One that was a twenty dollar margarita. But I am, I am drunk. Okay. You better go to the house and take me a nap. In my makeup. Skin already fucked up. Might as well hell. What the fuck? Every time I look up, every morning I, every time I wear my. <sighs> this car. This car, I tell you. Lord. My dream car is a BMW IA, but the way BMW C Bell don't don't leave me alone. Hold on. Hey guys, what's up? So today is Saturday morning. We are getting ready to go grocery shopping because we got a friends giving to go to. So I wasn't able to find turkey necks or turkey legs in the grocery store that I went to, so we getting ready to go and hunt down some turkeys, child, some turkey pieces, some turkey body parts. And this is what I got on. I'm real. I'm basic. I'm basic, okay. But I got on my I got on my faha and my wraparound board. Look at this body. Look, girl, girl, <coughs> girl you. Ooh, child. And guess look, we on we on Facetime with Anthony. Say hey, Anthony. Say hey to the followers, to the subscribers. You ain't say hey. I can't hear you. What you mute your phone? Oh my God, I smell so good. Okay, so I put on, I don't got on no sunscreen. I put on Coco Chanel Mademoiselle with Baccarat Rouge 540. All right. I guess he just knew I wasn't talking to him. I wouldn't. <laughs> I was talking to y'all on FaceTime. I smell good, girl. I smell real rich. Like, I smell richer than how I was. I smell richer. I smell like I'm at peace. Come on. That's a good mix. Back of that rouge with... Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. That's a good mix. Oh my God. Baby, if I get a nigga while I'm out of the grocery store, <laughs> blame it on the perfume. It's the perfume because it's show like on BB. Look at it. 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 We gon' we gonna keep it. Look. I'ma glue it down later. Yeah, so if a nigga talk to me, honey, he's being cat the fuck fished. <laughs> cat the fuck fished today, bitch. But you know, I got hair under here. I got a lot of hair. It's long. Yeah, I don't play about my sunscreen, but I need to get some more sunscreen because the kind that um i got from watching kyra's video i don't really like it it really do put like a white cast on your face and um i don't like it so i need to find me some 100 oh bitch this gate is broken again look this mother these apartments is ghetto i'm scared to go under it y'all think i should go under it do it i ain't gonna do it nope nope no nope. because i'd probably be underestimating the height of my car and scratch up my roof and oh bitch i when i tell you i'd be some kind of mad at myself if i did that so we just gonna go out the other one girl so i got my youtube open in this girl story time is right here in the front and it says story time I was pregnant in the fifth grade I didn't even know where my hole was 
at 11. So we are, this area right here, you can see the rainbow on the ground. This is Gabriel Hood. This is the Gabriel Hood, honey. This is the, this is the neighborhood for the worlds, okay? Um, this is Cedar Springs. It's basically uptown Dallas and, um, all of the gay clubs and everything is on this street. So if you are into all of that, you know what I'm saying? You are part of the rainbow community, when you come to Dallas, this is going to be your area to come for the girls and a good time, okay? Baby, I love you. I need you here with me all the time. So you just going to make you a little auto shop in the parking lot of Kroger's. Baby, take that baby home. He ready to go home and play his PS5. I know I've been away. I'm just trying to get my paper straight, girl. Okay, so the friend giving store is right here. Okay, and it's six. So we got... Two hours. I'm about to make the collard greens. I'm making my dishes collard greens and turkey legs or whatever. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go ahead and broth these. They already smoked. So I'm just gonna pull some of the broth, the smoky broth, broth out of it. And I'm gonna boil these. I think I'm gonna mix them with a little chicken broth because I got chicken broth too. Okay, so. Last time, last time I made some meat and cooked it right out the package. Y'all got on me talking about you supposed to wash your meat first. But it's like, it don't say it on the package. And it says these smoke, so these really pre-cooked. They just was refrigerated. So I'm about to take these out the package, sis. And put them in the water and boil them. But these are smoked, so they pre-cooked already. I'm just, I'm just pulling a little broth out of it, okay? Don't get on me, sis. Don't get on me. Y'all be getting on me when I cook, man. Uh, uh. I wish a nigga would tell me he been gone, but he been trying to get his money right. Okay. There ain't no excuse. If you was broke when you met me, you should have just said that. Instead of trying to talk to me. You can't get me in my feelings and then disappear. How dare you? This is the woman that goes for fun. Abita! I ghost for fun! You wanna play rough? Okay. So. And my grandma didn't teach me this. I was a, I was actually a chef when I was in the military. But I was still a shooter. I was still a shooter now. I was still a shooter. It was just like I was tired of shooting. And I said, okay, I'm tired of shooting. I'm fit to go and be in the kitchen because if y'all don't know by now, ma'am likes to eat. I like to eat, okay? Um, aviation bolster mate where I like land the planes on the ship but they get up too early baby I'm not a morning person I'm a night person 
So I was like, I was gonna do this. My mom just wanna be. I want to have all access to the kitchen because when you're in the military, right? You wake up in the morning for breakfast. You have breakfast at seven. Bitch, you don't eat again until noon. That's five hours. I was starving all the time. Then, then after that, you don't eat again until five p.m. in the evening. After you eat lunch and noon, you don't eat again until five. Who, who, who metabolism is this? Like, my food be gone after 30, out, 30 minutes. I'm hungry again. So I was like, you know what? I'm about to be a chef so I can have all access to the kitchen. And when I tell you I had all access, baby, I would get up in the middle of the night. It'd be 2 o'clock in the morning and I'd be in the kitchen, uh, in, 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 in the cafeteria making grilled cheese. People, be, the Marines would come up. Sis, can you make me, can you make me a grilled cheese? No. Because y'all was mean to me. No. Trying to be my friend. No. Baby, the Navy, that was some, that was an experience, baby. That was an experience. I got into so many fights. I didn't even know I could fight until I went to the military. I used to be so scared to fight. People would pick on me in high, in, in high school and bully me. And, you know, our family was a real loving family, okay? We were real loving, okay? So, we wouldn't fight. You know, me and my brothers, me and my cousins, me and my, you know, like, we never fought each other. So, like, I didn't know that I could fight. Baby, <clears throat> I was I was done with that bullying shit once I got to the military. I said, y'all y'all really got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. I said, baby, I started beating bitches ass. I wish I had a beat more. Now that I look back on it, I wish I had a beat more, but I was trying to be good because when I went into the military, I was trying to be a paralegal. And you can't be getting in trouble all the time if you, you know, you the law. So, um, the first time I got into a fight, I lost my school. I lost my, um, it was like kind of like a scholarship to go to Legalman School because I really wanted to be a lawyer. When I first graduated high school, I wanted to go to law school. So when I went into the military, I was like, okay, I'm going to do paralegal for a little bit. And then I'm going to submit to become a JAG officer, a lawyer in the military. Maybe after that first fight, I beat that girl last. They was like, nah, nah, you can't, you can't go to legal in school. Then, um, so I had to be like a bosun made a dick semen for a while cleaning the boat, basically being a janitor of the boat. You gotta paint the boat. While we out at sea, you on the side, hanging over the boat, painting the boat. That shit is the worst. You don't ever wanna be undesignated. You don't ever wanna be undesignated. When you go into the Navy, you need to go in with a job. I was thinking about being an aviation bosun maybe, but I was like, nah, they work too hard, and I don't like how early they get up. So I decided to become a chef. But by the time I became a chef, I was already tough, a shooter, and that bitch. Plus, plus I controlled how much food you got on your tray? Like if I ain't fuck with you, no, you get the standard amount. But if I fuck with you, oh yeah, let me give you a little bit more spaghetti. Okay, so. So I have these um, collard greens that are fresh. They come from Tom Thumb. They're already cut and washed and ready to use. So I just add them to the broth. So then I'm just gonna add this to the pressure cooker. I 
and make sure you lock. Okay, you're gonna put it on the setting. So this is the Prima Donna's cookware pressure cooker, and I do for my Catch greens. It. it talks to you too. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. For my greens, I put slow cook, and if you want more flavor. Right. You can put, mm -hmm. click flavor and it'll cook it for three hours. Mm -hmm. If you want normal flavor, an hour and 30 minutes, mm -hmm. less an hour. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna do normal. Baby food. What? Oh, she, she just wants to rice, be pasta, be poultry, sauté, slow cook. Okay, so you just click slow cook and it'll start cooking. You don't even have to click nothing. Yeah, once it starts doing it, it's good. So you can basically push it off to the bag, set it in, forget it. Or, you know, once the steam starts coming out, you do want to have it, like, free so the steam can let the pressure out. So I'm not going to push it under the thing, but under the counter, but, yeah. So by the time the food is ready, um, it'll be 630 the Friendsgiving starts at 6. I'm never on time to any damn thing. Plus, I need to get ready anyway. So, while this is cooking, I can get ready. And that's why I love this freaking pressure cooker. Because it cooks stuff so fast. I paid $200 on it. This is not a paid sponsorship. I actually bought this for myself. Because I knew that once uh, we went into quarantine. That I was going to be cooking and eating a lot. And I couldn't go out. So, I was like, okay, let me get something. So, I can cook some nice meals. in And not really have to stand over and sit over the stove all the time because <clears throat> I was also working from home at the time um, as a project manager. So, yeah, I love this pressure cooker. I love it. Um, I tried to buy her seasonings, but she never sent them to me, so I had to get my money back. But when it comes to the pressure cooker, I don't play about it. So, if you're looking for a good pressure cooker, I definitely will say um, I really I really do like Prima Donna's pressure cooker. And I also, of course, I got her recipe Bible. But the only thing is, I mean, if you don't have any of her seasonings, you really can't use her recipe Bible because her re recipe Bible causes for you to use the seasonings. So, yeah, I never really... That's up there for decoration, basically. Okay. So, I just put... Some I know I look different than I usually look because I ain't put no context on. So we just natural in it out tonight. <laughs> I guess if that's what you want to call natural. Um, but yeah, I just put some eyeliner right here. I don't do the whole lot eye eyeliner. I just do like right here. This outer corner, and it kind of like gives a more catty eye. But yeah, this is the look. It's cute. I guess. Let me see what this look, this look, this uh lip will look like with it. This is a Ofra metallic. I like to put. I like to take metallic lip gloss, lips, liquid lipsticks, and highlight my cubits bow with it. Okay. That's cute. Okay, and then for tonight's scent, we are going to mix Coco Chanel Manozel and Baccarat Rouge 540 together. Oh my God. I did it earlier today and it smells so good. Check on these here greens. Looking good. Looking tender. Looking ready. And look at that turkey meat falling off the bone. Love it. Love it. Listen, 
You better tell one of your sons or your brothers or your uncles to marry me. <laughs> okay, you better tell him to claim me in the name of Jesus. Ooh, shit, let me just come here and clean the rest of these greens out this little bowl right here, because them greens. Mmm. And I'm hungry. Mmm. Baby, these greens is hitting. Mmm. So this look is cute, but I feel like I could have did real lips with the all black. So we are headed to Anthony's house. He stays 30 minutes away. That baby don't move down to the burbs, baby. That baby don't move down to the motherfucking burbs. He done moved on up, okay? So we are about to head out to the burbs and go to this friends giving they done already started eating which i know i'm two hours late y'all I'm, I'm i'm late so i don't mind if they done already started eating just as long as a little food left because baby these greens and these turkey legs they can do it for me honestly so as long as i got a little dress and little macaroni little candy i'm good mm -hmm. Sense a little beast. Sense a little i love the way you walk love the way you talk let a young nigga come play your food deep stroke your throat till i make you Do a drink. Okay. You gotta play. Grapes. I'm trying to bust on bust on loin, bust on bust on loin, bust on loin, bust on I'm trying to bust on loin, 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 bust on Over your face, just drag it slightly over your face, just slightly. Do that, do it like this. I don't understand why it's doing making it a little circle because mine don't do that. It's something that you pressed, it's something that you pressed. I just, I literally just added it again right on here. Yeah, but I let me see what did I click on? I clicked add color mask. Did you do add color mask or add shape mask? I the color match was the one with the thing. I did that one, see? Okay. Hey, y'all. That was Alana. If you watch my vlog where I went to um, Atlanta to 
show my home girl how to you know start her youtube channel how to edit what software to download and stuff like that so she's gonna use final cut pro to edit and we just been kind of doing little small tutorials throughout the day so this been pretty much the bulk of my day um i had already said that i wasn't going out because the temperature is dropping here in texas and <clears throat> Uh, I don't want to get no more sinus infections or colds, honey. <laughs> Did you know people can fit, people fit, people fit start getting sick? So I was like, you know what? It's cold outside. I don't really want to be cold. You can't be cute and cold. I mean, you can, but. Mm -mm. So I was like, I'm just going to stay in the house. Um. So we've been on the phone like all day. Well, not all day, because she just called me when she, when she ran into a bump in the road. And I help her get around it. Don't remember you. Why well, somebody text me earlier and say, who is this? So my response was, you got some motherfucking nerve. How you gonna text somebody who is this? And that's the start of the conversation. Like, I didn't even text this person first. So I said, you got some fucking nerve. And the person texts back, how else am I supposed to get your attention? Uh, sir, you weird. Lose my number. Lose it real fast, okay? Lose it real fast. just in bed watching some vlogs um i'm about to eat a banana respond to some emails respond to some youtube comments because i just love y'all so much i love interacting with y'all y'all be giving me laughing <laughs> and it's a lot of bad bitches be in my comments y'all y'all in here okay i love y'all we paypal gang full of bad bitches i love it here i love it here it's top tier over here okay all of my bitches top tier all of y'all all of y'all drinking coffee probably not gonna help my acne so yeah i'm obsessed with true crime um i watch this more than anything on youtube because i don't have cable so a lot of the crime tv shows i don't want to subscribe to them because it's not something that i like want to watch all the time because you know i believe in laws of attraction if you always watching that type of stuff you kind of allowing a negative energy into your life like my grandma was a a, a very worried woman you know what i'm saying um Sometimes I feel like because she worried so much, it, I don't know. I will say though, um, when I moved to Dallas by myself, um, that same year she found out she had cancer and she always worried about me so i really feel like the anxiety and the worry from me being here by myself didn't help her illness um because she was just always thinking <clears throat> the worst and um she's all she was always overprotective of me i mean like girl like when i was a little girl i couldn't do nothing child was so sheltered you know um and even when i lost my virginity my grandma knew as soon as i came home Jay, she knew i ain't even had to tell her she knew 
and um yeah but she was the, she was literally the coolest grandma so strong i mean i get a lot of my strength from my grandma i miss her so much let me tell you something and it's just being me it's just me being transparent with y'all because it's early in the morning and i love y'all and y'all literally like my therapist just being able to talk to the camera honestly um <clears throat> she died five days before my birthday this year march 7th so i have a i have a twin cousin we're not actually twins but our mothers are twins and uh my mom and my aunt were pregnant at the same time so my cousin was born march 7th and i was born march 12th so my grandma ended up passing on my cousin's birthday um devastating super devastating oh so devastating i had a point and i lost it oh i was suicidal I was super depressed. I did not want to be here anymore. That's how me. That's how close me and my grandma were. Like, she was literally the only reason why I went home to Memphis. You know, and I didn't go home often. Like, it wasn't it wasn't a situation where I missed being home so much. Where I was at home every month. No, I would go home like once a year. Sometimes I would put like a year and a half in between the time, but every time i would not announce it i wouldn't tell anybody that i was coming maybe my cousin tanya but everybody else i wouldn't i wouldn't say nothing else to the family so i would always go home and surprise my grandma and just like knock on the door and she open the door and it would be me and i mean just to see the look on her face and um um her smile and hear her laugh and um girl why i do this to myself shoo okay anyway so i like watching true crime but i try not to watch it that much because i don't want to like put things in my path and in my destiny like obsessing over stuff or watching stuff that could potentially happen to me but I did want to watch this one because I felt like, wow, like, you know what I'm saying? You you hear about all these stories of, you know, things happening to people and you wouldn't you wouldn't think that it would happen to like a YouTuber. So to to um I kinda I, I really wanna watch this one, but like I'm gonna pray afterwards, honey, because ooh child, you really gotta pray for peace and protection. So yeah, that's my morning. I'm sorry if I made y'all say it. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh, and listen, I haven't I cried. I literally prayed to be at peace with my grandmother's passing. And I put it in my prayer box. And after I did that, when I tell you God gave me peace with it, I hadn't cried no more since today. Hey girl. Okay, so my hair. Ooh, let's get close. Girl, look at this. So this is actually curly hair from her hair company that I straighten out bone straight. But why I kind of like it? Do y'all like it? I like it that it's kind of curly with the bang. I've never worn um hair curled with bangs but i kind of like it okay so this side ain't doing the same thing but whatever so this is a cute little um unkept day day dress it says missing you and i just have on the um alexander mcqueen sneakers with it i feel like it's cute so we are about to go to um baby listen okay i need a i need a hat it's a little chilly out here today. It's a little chilly. Y'all, I'm so happy one of my subscribers reached out to me and offered me a facial. She's here in Dallas and she offered me a facial of my choice to help me get this skin together. I just love y'all. Y'all be looking out for the girl, you know what I'm saying? And y'all don't play about me when somebody in the comments trying to be me. Y'all coming at them. I love it. I love it here. I love y'all. And I need y'all to know that I'm going to be the same way about y'all, period, okay? I ain't going to let nobody mess with y'all either.
because we all about reciprocity over here. She says she could give me what I need. If I should make her more than company. She's so happy when she's next to me. Thought she had me, baby, really thought she had me. It is really bad traffic right now. When does this stop? Hmm. Hmm. Do you believe in love after love? No. I believe in a grieving period and a little hotation. I learned that from Issa. Issa taught me. No, I'm just playing. You do go through a whole phase after a breakup, though. This everybody does. Men do, women do. You go through a phase where you do not want to have any feelings. You just want to, you know what I'm saying? You just want to get your rocks off and be like, okay, bye, sir. That's grown. That's very grown. We're not going to act like we're not grown in these comments and watching this video. That is very grown. It's normal, okay? So, anyway, I was talking to my homegirl and um she was she just recently went through a situation where she gave a dude her all she gave her dude her all baby baby when i'm telling you sacrifice and it reminded me so much of my um relationship with my ex because i did i overdid like i i overcompensated for some reason and i don't even know why but like i just really wanted him to know that i got him i'm gonna hold him down and all of this child don't do it child i'm telling you if you in your 20s and you dealing with a man and you trying to be you know be there for him child, let a man build on his own let a man build his own foundation and then come to you you cannot mm -mm. You, can, you cannot do it. It's not going to work. You're going to end up feeling used at the end when it doesn't work. You're going to feel used. So anyway, you know, we were just talking um, about the situation and she was like, you know, Payne, I just feel like, you know, I feel like I need to have, you know, entertain multiple people at this time. Like, I just really don't want to be in my feelings. I really don't want to, like, like anybody right now. And it's so crazy because I say the same thing. But when I heard her say it, I know that's not her. Like, she has the best heart. She is the sweetest person. I mean, I saw what she was doing as a girlfriend. Uh, I saw how loyal she was, how trustworthy she was in their relationship. And I'm like, that's not you, boo. That's, that's not you. Now, me, you know what I'm saying? I'm on this motherfucking playing pimp shit. No, I'm just playing. But that's not her. I said, you know what you need to do, babe? You need to pray for you. Because sometimes when we get on our knees and we pray to God and we ask God to send us a man, we too specific in what we want in the man. And baby, I was real deep. I had smoked a little bit before that conversation. So I was real deep that night, honey. Um, and I said, and it made so much sense. When you, when you, If you want a soulmate, you have to pray for your own soul. You have to pray for the attributes that are within you. You know what I'm saying? Like if you got a good heart, if you reciprocate energy, if you are a giver, you need to pray for yourself and say, God, send me somebody that makes me, that matches my soul. You can't be praying for, oh God, send me a man that got his shit together. God, send me a man that got a nice car, got a house, no kids. No, baby, that's too specific. And God don't, God don't prioritize those type of prayers because it's kind of pray for yourself pray for you pray for who you are if you trying to be a better person pray for somebody that's trying to be a better person or somebody that can help you become a better person and grow baby that was a word honey and when i say i felt that because i haven't even been doing that i just pray for true love when i pray and get on my knees i don't ask god for anything specific from a man or within a man i just say um send me some send me true love like I, I just pray for true love that's it that's it i don't know who it's coming from how it's coming when it's coming i just pray for true love but now since i said that i said you know what i'm gonna pray for me i'm gonna pray for me and i'm gonna ask god to send me someone who matches my soul who truly mates my soul and that's that on that 
But yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that because PayPal's are praying pals, okay? We pray over here, honey. We are all on a spiritual journey. I'm gonna always, you know, I, I know I, I, I'm silly and stuff like that, but I try to drop some gems and spread light into the world because um, it's a lot of bad bitches out here that's single, and I don't like that. Like, what are y'all men doing out here? It's so many bad bad women in my comments. I I I, I kind of slip want to change my name from PayPal to something that got bad in it because child, when I be reading y'all comments, I be like, oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm a little gay. Don't feel I make you choke. You know what? I forgot mine. Let me go get it. I got a, uh, let me see if I got All right, we are done, honey. And let me say, that was the best Brazilian that I've ever had. Wait for the temperature to drop. It's cold. I gotta turn the heat on. I just had the air on. I don't like this. Baby, she was so thorough. Listen, I'm going to put her information in the description box and her location in her Instagram right here. Baby, follow ma'am if you in Dallas. She is so thorough. She going to get each and every piece of hair. Y'all know in my uh, in about two vlogs ago, I went to European Wax and the girl left, the white girl left um, a lot of hair. She left a lot of hair, but ma'am got every piece of hair. Baby, I wish I had a little sneaky link tonight. Like, somebody need to see this. Woo! Hi, guys. Good morning. So, um, it is Tuesday afternoon. Should I just for to be three? Okay, it's good afternoon. It's Tuesday at three. We are getting ready to go out and run some errands. This is what I'm wearing. This is a little two-piece cami set from Shein. And I got it on with just some black socks and my Jordan 1s. Um, the retro 1s are literally my favorite Jordans. Like, I always want to buy 1s. Like, it's my favorite Jordan. And I am wearing this long ass hair from the raw virgin hair boutique but um it's not even dirty and it still has a lot of body like the flat iron on this kind of lasts long but i just got it in a ponytail because i'm just out running errands today somebody left their light in my car i am not giving it back it's mine now <laughs> Make no minutes to no sense how much uh it don't make no sense how many masks I got in this car now. Are they clean though? No. So yeah, we about to go to Barnes and Noble and buy us a new book. My subscribers was telling me about a whole bunch of books like um the I remember one they said the four agreements, a praying woman, um Oh my, oh my god, so many good suggestions. I should have wrote them down, but I do remember the four agreements. And I got photographic memory, so I remember it when I see it. I remember the book when I see it. Because I'm really into... Um, I'm really into self-help books. I love a good old self-help book. I feel like after I read... Um, something that's supposed to help me evolve emotionally and mentally I feel like I'm closer to being the best me and the best person I could be you know what I'm saying so yeah we fit to go buy us a book I lent somebody um, the art of not giving a fuck and they have just not given it back to me like oh wow um 
emphasis on lent. I lent. I loaned. But they have not given it back to me. And I asked them for it back. I really feel like they gave my book to another girl. The reason why I loaned it to him is because he said that he felt like he wasn't evolving as a person. He felt like he was stagnant in where he was in life. And um, I really didn't have any other way to help motivate him besides tell him to read that book because that book is all about creating your own happiness through acceptance a lot of times we get on social media and we see other people doing good other people accomplishing their goals and it makes you feel like damn i ain't doing shit out here i ain't doing enough out here and you can't think like that you have to accept your life for where it is right now hey siri give me good afternoon Peyton. How can I help? Give me directions to Barnes & Noble. One possibility I see is Southern Methodist University Bookstore about 2.6 miles to your north on Mockingbird Lane. But it only averages 2.5 stars according to Yelp. It's open today from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Is that the one you're looking for? Yes. Getting directions to Southern Methodist University Bookstore. Get out of my way, son. Okay, so I got the four agreements because it was highly recommended by a lot of my followers. Like, out of all the books that was recommended, I saw this one the most, and that's why I remembered it. And then and then i got the power of positive thinking because baby you know she is all about positivity okay so i definitely wanted to get this one and read it and it says it is a international bestseller so we got two books so if you guys want to join me in reading both of these books let's get it um in the next Baby, the sun done came out. It was raining. The sun done came out, and I ain't put on no sunscreen because it wasn't out. That's why they say I always put on sunscreen even though the sun isn't out because you're still getting affected by it. So we just gonna buy us some sunscreen because I really don't like the sunscreen I get at home anyway. So yeah, if you guys want to join me in reading these two books or either just one of them, um, let's do it, honey. Let's start like a little a little book reading club within my vlogs so when i mention them or talk about you know what i'm learning so far in reading the book we can discuss it in the comments because y'all know i like interacting with y'all so yeah um next on the docket we need to go and get some essentials for the home i need some more praying candles um because a lot of them have went out they have burned out so i need some more praying candles a uh, little knickknacks for around the house as far as like hygiene goes so we're about to go to um walmart <laughs> Cause I'm not totally free. You better say that. No questions asked. Just lay back and relax. Stop being all over my business. Sense a little bitch, sense a little hope. I love the way you walk, love the way you talk. Let a young nigga come play your floor. Deep stroke your throat till I make you choke. So it is 8 39. This um massage pot stays open till midnight baby yes full body you can get a full body massage a 90 minute full body body massage for 70 dollars baby where they do that at? in dallas <laughs> and these like this is a reflexology spot so baby when i tell you like this literally is the best massage that you will ever get in your life 
the best massages you will ever get in your life. This little construction got it looking a little ghetto, but it's okay. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh. See, I'm not lying, it really stays open till midnight. Hi. Hi. How are you? I want the the S one. Okay. The S one. Okay. Oh. Thank you. What's up, girl? So it is 4:28 in the afternoon. I just got off a conference call and. I actually forgot to get a whole bunch of stuff yesterday while I was out. I really need to start making lists so that won't happen because I was in Walmart yesterday and I forgot to get some Q-tips. I forgot to get the makeup soap i mean the uh um, the soap that i use to clean my makeup brushes i forgot to get that and i also need to declutter my little bathroom counter here it's a lot of skincare products on here that i do not use and in my cabinets that i do not use like i'm literally i literally need to get rid of <laughs> So since we are on the subject of talking about my radius, skin, one of my beautiful subscribers sent me some um acne treatment that she makes by hand customized and she sent me the instructions she didn't send me her instagram handle so um if you're watching this video comment below so i can pin your information at the top of it um so you can reach out to her and get some of her treatment um, but it says apply four small dots on two face each cheek forehead and chin rub all over face until it gets tacky then press it in um gently tapping into face all over you do not need a lot of product use cream only at night time then moisturize it is an overnight cream leave on do not wash off until the morning wash hands after use so she sent me um, um in a test tube for me to try out on my skin to see if it will help alleviate acne because she suffered with acne as well um and she just wanted to offer some sort of alleviation so i am going to start trying that in conjunction with um the routine that i'm already using i just threw away the panoxyl i'm not going to do the panoxyl anymore i'm going to stick with the urban skin rx cleansing three in one treatment and then um two to three times a week i'm going to use the murad hydration exfoliating cleanser because i do do um the daily dentist doctor yeah the dr dennis growth gross um alpha beta pills i used that um i threw away the pixie glow tonic i just used one a day just because whatever huh? i don't waste so much motherfucking money um i'm gonna keep these because these have some exfoliating in it as well okay so we are getting ready to make dinner i'm going to make mussels and this is a creamy white wine sauce so i have it in my prima donna's pressure cooker Go ahead and put on the lid. I'm just putting this on the lid on. There we go. And, and turn it. And then I'm going to put it on steam. Sauté. My baby. Steam. And let it steam for five minutes. So this literally all you have to do is put it on the setting and then it turns on and cooks so five minutes is good um because this steamer does not play on steam 
Um, so yeah, that's where we're gonna eat for dinner. I'm gonna have me a nice glass of wine. Should I hit it down? Uh, pull up by the strip. Uh, fuck up a check. Uh, show up.